guys and welcome back to our channel. Hello. Excuse the messy room behind us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to like cover it. <laughs> um, so this is my pack with me video. So this is Friday morning, the day before we leave. But when you see this, we'll be at Walt Disney World. So make sure <laughs> you follow us on Twitter and Instagram because we'll be doing some like live updates of photos, maybe some Instagram stories and things. Yeah. So yeah. So what's yours? So my Instagram is it's so Helena and what's your one? <laughs> mine is Martin dot Bell. I'll I'll try and and put more up on mine. <laughs> but I'm a bit slow <laughs> compared to you. <laughs> so have you packed yet? No, I'll go now. <laughs> so I've kind of started packing. Um so I thought I would do kind of like a vloggy informal pack with me video and I'll show you what I'm bringing. Um, I've got limited time though because I agreed to work this afternoon which probably wasn't the best idea so I'm trying to get all my packing done within the next hour or so. Why oh, are you coming back? Can he come? <laughs> no he doesn't live in Walt Disney World. He's a sloth. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get packing. Okay, so I've just propped you up on my wash bin <laughs> um, and sorry about the light if it keeps changing because I'm just using the natural light outside. But I thought I would start with clothes because it's kind of what I've started packing. Um, I've checked the weather forecast and it is 32 degrees mostly so it's going to be really really hot which I'm not complaining about. <laughs> um, so I think I'm mostly going to live in shorts and Disney t-shirts. So I'm just packing a lot of shorts. <laughs> um, I've got these lacy frilly ones. These are really like lightweight. So these are new. These are from H&M. I love them. They're like blue striped. They're really comfortable. And I think this is called like a paper bag style around your waist. So they're going in. Uh, I picked these up too recently from Primark. I think these are going to be perfect for Animal Kingdom. They really remind me um, of like Lion King and yeah, I love them. Next, these are from H&M as well. They're quite recent. They're really comfortable again. They're like really lightweight material, flowery shorts. The next two pairs are kind of like sports shorts, but I thought I'd bring them along because I could wear them to like the water parks or I could mean I could just wear them around the park. But they're these, both of them are from a shop called Oisho. I think that's how you pronounce it. I discovered it while I was on the ship. I think, I think it's a Spanish brand, but I'm not sure. And I am, um, you can buy it online. It's spelled O-Y-S-H-O and they sell really good like sportswear and swimwear and underwear so yeah and then lastly i'm just bringing one pair of denim shorts these are just standard denim shorts they've got like rips in them i probably am gonna wear the other shorts a lot more because i find denim can be quite like restricting and also quite hot um but i thought i would throw in one pair so next i'm going to move on to tops and t-shirts just got this tiny little crop top stripy top this flowery blouse again just very lightweight and i can like tuck it into the shorts this one um i've actually had for two years and i wore it um on our last disney world trip <laughs> so it's kind of like a nostalgic one for me again i think this will fit in perfectly at animal kingdom so like the colors um but yeah bringing that one along and now we're moving on to disney tops which i think i am mostly gonna wear all the time <laughs> This is another classic actually. I wore this one um, on our last trip as well. It was from Primark but a few years ago. And it just says, if you can dream it, you can do it. And it's grey, lightweight. Love that one. Uh, this is another, is it Primark? Yeah, another Primark. This is a white tee. Just says, hey Minnie, let's go on a road trip. It's got Mickey Mouse on it. Just like a classic Disney white tee. Next is another one which I wore I didn't wear to Walt Disney World but I've worn at Disneyland Paris quite a bit it's this pink crop top um, and it has Mickey looking bashful on the front and then on the back it just says the one and only Mickey Mouse and I think I got this from Pull and Bear but a while ago next is quite a recent purchase this is from Primark and it's another white tee and it says the one and only and it has a Mickey Mouse on it. And this was included in my recent Disney Primark haul. Next is a Harry Potter top which I'll be wearing to Universal Studios at the Harry Potter World which oh, I'm just 
so excited about it's like oh my favorite rides and my favorite like place I just love it um, and it says such a beautiful place to be with friends and then it has a little picture of Dobby and I love this and I remember an American uh, woman asked me like where did you get your top I was like Primark she was like where <laughs> um, but yeah I love that one next is the classic Primark Mickey t-shirt I've seen a lot of people with this and it's just plain white and it has Mickey Mouse on it and yeah just another really great staple which I'll probably be wearing a lot next is my stitch t-shirt so I'm going to be wearing this to Ahana I think I'm going to tuck it into one of my high-waisted shorts probably like the blue stripy ones um, and it's just got stitch all over it I love it this is from Primark as well and lastly this one my mum uh, got for me really recently I think she saw it in TK Maxx and she picked it up for me and it says Princess Snow White on it and I love it I'm not really like a huge Snow White fan like I haven't seen the film in years but I love it because it's the first Disney princess um so yeah I was really happy with this something a bit different for me going in I'm just like throwing it all in the suitcase right now like I haven't done it pretty at all so I'm probably gonna have to go back and like reorganize it all <laughs> So next are a couple of dresses and play suits. Um, if I fancy dressing up a bit in the evening or if I fancy dressing up during the day. This is a new one. This is from Primark really recently. And I actually saw Brogan Tate um, wore it recently and she looked beautiful in it. Um, and I just love it. So it's got strappy... There, strappy... Um, straps <laughs> and then it's just kind of a floaty very lightweight really pretty dress so I'll probably wear that with sandals I can even wear it with converse really um, but I think I'll wear this out in the evenings a bit if I fancy dressing up next is another dress this is a it's gonna be hard to show on camera but it's a maxi dress so it's all the way to the floor uh, blue with flowers on this is quite old but I got it from New Look a couple of years ago and again if I just fancy wearing a maxi dress one evening um yeah thought I'd throw that in and then I've got two play suits the first is I can't actually remember where I got this from it's very very old but it's just a standard play suit it's just kind of got a flowery pattern on and then it has these cute little um decorations on the um I can't I don't know what they're called <laughs> so next is just a standard kind of play suit I've had this for years and it's just got flowers on um yeah not much to say about that one and then lastly is another play suit which I wore a lot um in my Disneyland Paris July trip and I love it I love the color it's bright yellow has really floaty sleeves um a tie waist um, and I just love it. This was from Primark about a year ago. So, yeah, that's coming with me. Now, I think this might be a little bit optimistic, but <laughs> I have thrown in just one set of workout wear, just in case I fancy there is a gym there and maybe I fancy going for a little jog. Um, again, this might be really optimistic, <laughs> but I've just got a workout top sports bra and some workout shorts but I mean I don't know if I'm gonna wear these <laughs> we will see next is pajamas I always forget pajamas they're always like the last thing I remember so I've just got this set little shorts and just a pink tee and then I'm also bringing my Harry Potter Primark they're just little shorts again and a Harry Potter top I love these and then I've also bought pajamas slash kind of like loungewear this was from next but quite a few years ago it just says hello weekend on it and then it comes with these it might be too hot but I thought I'd throw it in anyway these are just like some lounge trousers I can just like wear around the villa if I want to be comfy next is swimwear for the water parks I wanted a really kind of secure swimsuit because I wore a bikini last time and it was just a bit of a pain because it didn't fit me right so whenever I was on the water rides I'd always worry that 
you know, it was gonna like fall off or I don't know, I just panicked. So I wanted a proper swimsuit to wear to the water parks. Um, so this is like a sports um, swimsuit, which I got from a sports shop. I basically still got like a nice design on it, but like it's really secure. And yeah, I think I'll just be happy in it running around the um, water parks and I won't be worried about like having to adjust my top or worried about um, my bikini bottoms and things. And then for sunbathing or for like lounging around the villa uh, where I'm not being that active, I picked up this bikini from Primark and I love it. It's so cute. It's got palm trees and flamingos on and it's just like your typical holiday bikini yeah and then it comes with these bottoms same design and then it just has a tie so yeah i won't wear these to the water park i don't think they'll just be for sunbathing i'm really not going to need a jumper but i don't know if it's because i live in england so i'm just always panicking that I'm gonna need a jumper or a coat. Does anyone else have that? Like, you know that it's gonna be so hot, but there's a little part of you that's like, you need to pack a jumper. <laughs> so, I'm gonna pack a jumper, which is so silly. I doubt I'll like, I'm not gonna need it, but anyway. Um, it says, Mickey and Friends. Um, you've seen this jumper loads, I wear it all the time. It's from Primark. Um, so I thought if I'm gonna pack a jumper, it better be a Disney jumper. And then I mustn't forget these, my mini Mouse ears. So I think that's mostly all the clothes that I'm gonna be taking. Um, I'll quickly show you what shoes as well. These, oh, they're very old. I'm a bit embarrassed showing these. <laughs> these are like my comfy old sandals. They're just really comfortable. They don't rub. I've had them for a few years. And um, they're from New Look. They look really grubby, so I'm gonna hide them. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna bring these just because I know they're so comfortable if I wanna wear some sandals. But they're mostly around the parks. Um, I wear trainers. I know people wear sandals and flip-flops and things, but I just find that trainers are what I'm most comfortable in and what I can walk in for the most amount of time. So I'm gonna bring my Converse. These actually got really dirty because I stepped in a puddle like a week ago. <laughs> um, but I just put them through the washing machine and then I scrubbed them a bit and they've come out fairly white again, which I'm quite happy about because I thought I might have to buy a new pair before we go. But I think these will last definitely just this trip. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna bring these. I'll probably mostly live in these in the park, I think. I'm also gonna bring just some Nike trainers. Um, if I fancy something a bit more supportive um, and I fancy wearing like proper trainers for the day. And then I'm just bringing two pairs of flip flops. Um, I've got my Javianas to wear to the water parks and to bring to the parks with me in case I fancy putting flip flops on for a bit. And then these I'm just gonna have to have around the villa, kind of like slippers for the villa that I can wear out to the patio. Um, and just like if I want to walk around the villa and the pool and like surrounding areas. And these actually I wore home from my friend Christina's wedding. She had this great thing where um, they had a bucket full of flip flops so that if your feet were hurting you could change um, into flip flops. So you could like dance the night away which I did and then I ended up walking home in them. So thank you Christina, because they're coming on holiday with me. <laughs> and then also in my suitcase I have underwear, socks, bras, and also a couple of like cosy socks. And then to travel to the airport in tomorrow, I think I'm gonna wear just a plain white t-shirt and then this yellow maxi skirt. Um, it's really difficult to dress for the airplane. Um, so I normally wear either a long maxi skirt or leggings because I just find them the most comfortable and also when you get off the other side they're kind of the most um, breezy to wear. <laughs> um, so yeah, just going to wear this yellow maxi skirt. And then I picked up this which I love from Primark. <gasps> My new Minnie Mouse cap. I love it. It's just so cute. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wear this to the airport and then I'll wear it like my whole holiday. 
and it's really comfortable as well it has like an adjustable back so yeah if you're looking for a perfect part cap head to Primark and then next I'm just bringing a few pieces of jewellery um, just bringing my waterproof fossil watch just some necklaces that I wear every day one um, was from Martin for my birthday which is my birthstone and then this one I got from a friend and it's a little sloth and I love it I also have this handmade necklace which is a Harry Potter necklace and it says after all this time always said Snape which I'm going to wear to Universal Studios love this and then next I've just got some little earrings um, I've got about three pairs in there so yeah, I haven't brought loads of jewellery with me, but just a little bit in case I wanted to change it up while we're there. Okay, so I think that is clothes, shoes and jewellery all done. So let's pack it all away properly and see how much space I have left in the case. <laughs> So it's all in the bag. I'm not an expert packer, as you can probably tell. Um, I watch Brogan Tate's like packing videos and she's like an expert packer. She's like packing cubes and everything, whereas I just kind of throw it all in and hope for the best. But I've still got a lot of space. This is a really big case, so I'll just show you now. So yeah, I've managed to just use one side. So that's all the clothes. Um, and then all my shoes as well. And then in this little compartment here is like bras, underwear, socks and everything. And then yeah, I've still got this space here. It's pretty good going. So I think that will be filled with a few toiletries and like miscellaneous things. And then yeah, I think I'll still have a little bit of space if I want to bring anything back to the UK with me. So that's dangerous. <laughs> Okay, so next is kind of toiletries and miscellaneous stuff and yeah, everything else. <laughs> now a lot of our toiletries we're actually going to buy once we get to America. So shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, all stuff for the shower and bath we're going to actually get on the first day that we arrive. So tomorrow we're going to go to a Walmart or a Target. I'm so excited. <laughs> and yeah, just pick up some American wash stuff um, and then we will share it um, in the villa and yeah use it for those two weeks so as not to carry too much with us and to keep our weight limit down so these are just a few things which I want to personally like bring from home so I've got my first little bag of toiletries this is really cute I think this is from Boots so in here I've got lots of hair pins and lots of um, hair ties at the bottom because I don't know about you but I go through so many like I managed to lose hair grips and hair ties really easily so I've got lots in here and then I'm also bringing my Mitchum deodorant this is great this is really long lasting and it's perfect to wear in the morning before you have a full day of running around the parks next I have my Clinique face moisturizer this is great stuff this is really moisturizing um, and it will be great for um, being in the sun because your skin gets quite dry and yeah coming along with me and then I also have my Clinique facial soap which I use day and night to wash my face wash off any makeup and yeah I thought I would bring those two along because um, I like to use them as like a routine and then I also have this is the vitamin E skincare all over body cream from Boots and this is great, it's like a huge tub um, and it's just my like all over body moisturiser. Um, yeah, this is great. This is really good for also when you're tanning and you want to like moisturise your body um, so that you can, yeah, tan the best. Uh, next I just have my makeup bag. I'm not going to go through everything. <laughs> um, but I think the main thing is that I'm going to bring my Bare Minerals foundation. This is so good in the sun. Um, I've got it on today and it's just like a really lightweight powder um, but you can like build it up if you want to cover any blemishes or if you want more of a uh, matte kind of look 
um, but you can also just do a really light layer for the day and yeah I love this and I've also I've got this a medium beige but then I've also got a darker medium tan which I'm going to bring so that um, if my face tans I can like mix them together and hopefully get a perfect shade. <laughs> we'll see <laughs> but yeah this is the main thing that I'm bringing and then I've just got all other makeup in here I probably won't wear too much um because it's going to be so hot but yeah uh, next I have a bag just full of time of the month um things because you always want to bring this with you just so you're not caught off guard and then the last bag I have plasters ibuprofen I have nail polish remover and then I have a couple of nail polishes. I'm actually going to do my nails tonight um, but I've got a purpley colour, a sheer coat and then a kind of purpley red. Oh and also this bright pink snuck in as well. Um, so yeah I'm going to do my nails tonight and then bring what colours I need. Uh, dry shampoo which is so good so you don't have to wash your hair too much hairspray I don't really use hairspray that much um I think Martin probably use it a bit more than me um but I've just thrown in a little one uh this is the Garnier hair oil which I use um every time I wash my hair I've only got a little bit left but should last for the two weeks um this is great for um detangling your hair once you get out of the shower and yeah really good in the sun as well if your hair gets dry next i have a victoria's secrets body spray which i just like to spray before i um go out for the day and then i also have my victor and ralph flower bomb perfume um which is just i wear this pretty much every day uh, especially if i'm going out in the evening and yeah i love it i also have some pseudocreme because i just think it's always good to have and then also just some cotton pads so yeah, I think that is all the toiletries that I'll mostly bring, be bringing from home. Oh, also toothbrush and toothpaste, but I'm going to use that tonight. Um, oh, and also you're probably all shouting at me, sunscreen! <laughs> um, <laughs> I am picking up some suntan lotion today. Uh, me and Martin are going to go um, to Boots and pick up some, oh, and razors as well. And anything else that I think of that I've missed out. But I think, yeah, razors and suntan lotion um to bring um so yeah suntan lotion is probably like the most important thing if you're going to florida so don't worry i am bringing it <laughs> so at the villa we're staying at they have a hair dryer and then my mum is also bringing her hair dryer so i don't think i'm gonna bother bringing mine because i'll use the one at the villa and then if that doesn't work very well i'll just um steal my mum so i'm just gonna bring my hair straighteners if I have room, I might bring my curlers as well, but I think I'm just going to bring my hair straighteners because I don't know if I'll sit down and curl my hair. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> cool, so all the toiletry um, stuff is in there. I'll just show you. So there it is, all ready to go. I've still got so much room, um, but I guess it's better to have too much room um than not enough okay guys so the last stuff is kind of miscellaneous stuff and stuff that i'm gonna bring on my airplane bag and yeah it's mostly all the stuff that i'm gonna bring in my hand luggage so i'll show you i've laid it all out on the bed uh so this is the bag i'm thinking of taking as my hand luggage um providing that everything fits into it i always take this because it's big um, and then this bag is going to be my park bag. So this is the Primark Disney bag. I've worn it to Disneyland Paris. And yeah, it's just the perfect size for a park bag. And I think these are literally the only two bags that I'm going to bring because I think they'll be fine. I think I'll mostly just wear that all holiday and then this one if I need a slightly bigger one. I'm bringing a water bottle, which I will... Um, well, I won't be able to take it on the flight with me um, because you're not allowed liquids. But this is what I'll be using in my park bag, mostly. Um, and then I have colouring. I have a mindfulness colouring book. 
and a Harry Potter one and then my pencils which I'll probably take out of here and put in a pencil case. I take these on the flight with me um, because I'm quite a nervous flyer and I find that colouring really helps me to relax and um, I did it on a flight a couple of years ago and it really helped me so I'm gonna bring them. If you've watched my planning videos, you'll know that I have these. These are my two little folders of plans. This is like a kind of itinerary for the two weeks. And then it's got all the information of our hotel and things. And then this one is all the menus. Next, I've got my phone, my charger, my headphones, and then my iPad. So I am going to uh, put some films and also some YouTube videos downloaded onto my iPad which I can watch on the flight and then I've got my phone which is yeah self-explanatory <laughs> um, but it also has the My Disney Experience app which is like vital for your holiday and then charger and headphones. Next is my dollars so I've got some in chip which is what I'll bring around my money in the park and then also some dollars in there got my Tangle teaser, I've got my Ray-Bans, my sunglasses, I'm only bringing one pair of sunglasses because I just live in these, I love them. And then I've got my purse, uh, my passport, very important, and then I've got my magic band. And then lastly I've got these socks which are so cute, these are from Primark and they've got Mrs Potts and Chip on them. So I'm going to wear these on the flight so I'm all cosy because I like taking my shoes off and putting socks on. And then I've got a couple of pairs of flight socks which are also very important, um, yeah. So yeah I think that is everything else. And before you panic, don't worry, Martin is bringing all the camera equipment. So he's bringing our vlogging camera, well, <laughs> I've got it at the moment, um, but he's going to pack all the cameras, um, the waterproof camera, the um, all our like new chest mounts and our wrist mounts for the water parks, and all the chargers and the memory cards and the batteries and everything like that. And then also... As a family, we've got all our boarding passes together and everything that we need for the holiday um, paperwork-wise. So, yeah, I think that is mostly it. Um, I'm not going to pack this now because I've got to rush off to work for a couple of hours. Um, but then when I get back this evening, I'm going to finish packing my hand luggage bag and then just double-checking that I have everything else. But, yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I literally was speaking so fast, I'm so sorry, I was just trying to like fit everything in in the time I had, uh, but yeah, I'm so excited. So here Martin is, he is editing our Disney Q&A, which will be out uh, next week actually. Yes. So. It's, uh, it's uh, half an hour on, so. Is it? Yeah. We so, really wanted to answer like all the questions, didn't we? Because we got so in. many, we were so happy. So thanks so much for watching my packing video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, right now we'll be in Orlando. <laughs> it's creepy. I know. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching, guys. And we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.